Hello grade level students. In this tutorial, we are going to apply the idea of board mass to simplify these fractions. You can see we have different fractions here connected with different operations, plus minus division multiplication. I think I posted exactly the same question three years back. I just want us to refresh our memory. All right, let's get started. Um, what is this board mass? B O D M E S. B here stands for bracket. It is applicable to also parentheses. O stands for orders. D stands for division, multiplication, addition, and subtraction. What does this imply? It means that you have to follow them in order from left to right. If you are simplifying fractions that are connected, not even fractions, numerical expressions that are connected with different operations, you have to start with bracket if it is available, followed by this, 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 and that. But you should know that for division and multiplication, they have the same power. So you start with anyone that comes first from left to right. So division and multiplication, likewise addition and subtraction, you should always start with anyone that comes first from left to right. If you see multiplication before division, start with that multiplication from left to right, same as addition and subtraction. So let us see how we can apply this in simplifying the whole of this. The first question, we have 3 divided by 2 of 1 divided by 3 plus 4 divided by 7 then multiplied by 7. Okay. Bracket. Is bracket available? Yeah, since we have parentheses, I told you they have the same power. So we have to deal with that bracket first. So now let us simplify this before we go to the next one. Um, to simplify this, I can see we have addition of fractions here. I'm going to show you different ways of adding or subtracting fractions because we have so many of them here. So the first one I would like to do here is the butterfly method. You cross multiply. You take this top the first fraction you should take the numerator, you multiply by this denominator. So we are going to keep this one constant. We are not going to alter them. This is 3 divided by 2 of, what will this give us? 1 times 7 is 7, plus 4 times 3 is 12, divided by 3 times 7 is 21. This is how to apply both the apply method. Then you should multiply by 7. This is equal to 3 divided by 2, right? Um, you should know that of is multiplication. So let me change it to multiplication. Then 7 plus 12 is 19. Divide by 21. Then times 7. And this 7 can also be rationalized as 7 divided by 1. So since we have multiplication, multiplication, I think we can carry it all along. So let me see, we have 7 into 7 one time, 7 into 21 exactly three times. This 3 into 3, 1, 3 into 3, 1. What do we have left? I think we only have 19 to the top, 1 times 19 times 1 is still 19. To the bottom we have 2 times 1 times 1. So altogether we have 19 divided by 2. And if you like, you can write this in a mixed number, right? How many times can 2 go into 19? Exactly 9 times. 9 times 2 is 18. So we have a remainder of 1 out of 2. This 2. So either this, this is uh, improper fraction, right? This is mixed number. So this is how to simplify fractions using board mass. If you fail to apply board mass, you may end up multiplying this by this first. Mm. And uh, definitely you have to get different answer, but this is the most accurate answer. Let's move on to the second one. We have separate fractions uh, uh, in our parentheses. So we have to start with B, which is the bracket. So forget about this one. Simplify this and this separately before you subtract, because these are the content under the parentheses. So let me show you two different ways to simplify fractions like this. Um, for this one, you can draw a line. What is the LCM of 3 and 4? A number which both 3 and 4 can go into without remainder. And you need that smallest one, lowest common multiple. That number is 12. 
So 3 into 12 exactly 4 times. So 4 times 2 is 8. Plus, because we have plus to the top. 4 into 12 exactly 3 times. 3 times 1 is 3. Right? The minus, this minus. You do the same thing here. But let me see. Um, let me show you another way of simplifying fractions like this. What is the LCM of 5 and 3? It's 15. So we are going to transform these two denominators into 15. To do that, I think to make this 5 into 15, you have to multiply it by 3. For equivalent fractions, you have to multiply the top by the same value, right? So 3 times 1 is 3. 3 times 5 is 15. Plus, don't forget we have parentheses here. Do the same thing here. How can we change this to 15 by multiplying by 5, right? So you multiply the top and the bottom by 5. 5 times 2 is 10. 5 times 3 is 15. Now you, we have the same denominators. This is why I told you I'm going to show you different ways of simplifying fractions. 8 plus 3 is 11, right? This is 11 divided by 12, the minus. This plus that because we have the same denominators. This and this will give us 13. Divide by 15. We are not done yet. Um, you can see that we have our denominators as 12 and 15. What is the LCM? 60 is the smallest number which 12 and 15 can go into without remainder. So 12 can go into 60 exactly 5 times and 5 times 11 will give us uh, 55 minus 15 into 60 exactly 4 times and 4 times um, 13 will give us 52, right? And finally, 55 minus 52 will give us 3. So this is 3 divided by 60. And 3 can go into itself one time. So this is 1. And 3 can go into 60 exactly 20 times. So we have 1 over 20 as our final answer after simplifying the whole of this. Now let us move on to the last one. The last one we have 6, 1 over 3. Oh, should I change it to improper fractions directly? Yeah. How can we change a mixed number into improper fraction? For this one, you take 3, you multiply by 6. 3 times 6 is 18. Then you add 1, you have 19. 19 divided by this value here, 3. So 19 over 3, or 6, 1 over 3, they are the same thing. Then multiplication, do the same thing here. 6 times 2, 2 times 6 is 12 plus 1 is 13. Divide by 2. We have a division sign, do the same thing here. 4 times 9, or 9 times 4 is 36. 36 plus 3 is 39. Divide by 4. And lastly, we have minus 5 divided by 9. All right. So I, again, you follow this pattern. Bracket, we don't have any. Orders, we don't have. Division and multiplication, they are done simultaneously. So since we have multiplication and division, let's start with multiplication. To multiply this, nothing can go into anything here because... 2 cannot go into 19 without remainder, likewise 3 into 13. So we can just multiply. So this is equal to 19 times 13. It's a big number, so let me leave it like this. But 3 times 2 is 6. All right. And I know that a division sign can be transformed to multiplication. But you have to take reciprocal of that value. The reciprocal of this will be 4 over 39. Just flip it upside down. It becomes 4 over 39, then minus 5 over 9. Then we have another multiplication, but I know 13 can go into itself one time. It can go in here exactly three times. And what again? 2 can go into 4 two times. 2 can go into 6 three times. So what do we have here? We have 19 times 2, which is uh, 38 divide by 3 times 3 which is 9 then minus 5 over 
9. We are almost done. So we only have one sign here, which is subtraction. 38 minus 5 is 33. So this is 33 divided by 9. 3 is a common factor. 3 can go into 33 exactly 11 times. And 3 can go into 9 exactly 3 times. So this is our final answer. But if you like, you can write it in a mixed number. How many times can 3 go into 11? Exactly 3 times. But we have a remainder of 2. Because 3 times 3 is 9. 11 minus 9 no, is 2. So we have a remainder of 2. Out of this 3. They are all the same. If you want to convert it back to this improper fraction, you say 3 times 3 is 9. 9 plus 2 is 11. Which is this. Divide by this 3. And you are good to go. As simple as that. Thank you for watching. Do share to your learning colleagues and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more exciting videos. Bye-bye.